name is uh, Peter McLaughlin, um, currently living in South Australia. I'm going to discuss just a little bit of history, it might give some insight into the imagery and some of the artworks. Um, I was born in Port Lincoln, 1957. Father, who was um, hard working, enjoyed life, loved to drink, huge gambler and uh, highly spirited and a nature lover. My mother, she was a, uh, had been in a nunnery from a good, good Irish family, had spent time in a nunnery. Anyway, that didn't, uh, I guess as a, as a combination, it didn't particularly work that well. So there's a, a reasonable amount of um, conflict between one another and often that conflict was a result of, I guess, philosophy of, of church and um, high-spirited, outdoor, easy-going sort of fellow. My first uh, memory of um, using paint was uh, when I was 14 uh, years old, uh, back in high school. I'd always um, drawn as a, as a child and uh, all, all kinds of things I draw. I just loved the use of pencils. I had a great collection of pencils. And uh, often I'd be drawing um, or inventing uh, buildings, castles and all that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, my f the first time I actually got to use some watercolours, I produced a, a small lands landscape picture from memory. And I thought at that time... Um, this is something I'd uh, enjoyed and uh, loved, loved to continue to do. Yeah. My first uh, one-man exhibition at the age of 17 in Fort Lincoln. Uh, and then I... Uh, went into a job for the government as a survey draftsman, but uh, I didn't particularly enjoy uh, I was looking out of the window and wishing I was uh, outdoors painting somewhere. It had occurred to me that um, I could go to prison because uh, there you had a bit of free time and you could actually do that. I'd read uh, books about people who'd been able to do that, but anyway, I opted for the art school. And uh, I was accepted into art school and um, it was some of the best years of uh, my life, even though I never actually got to f complete what I thought was a, a uh, reasonable painting, but uh, it certainly did open my mind up to um, the history of art and uh, art within a social context, which put a whole new slant on the meaning of art and the value of it to um, society. Third year in in art school, I'd um, become somewhat uh, disillusioned, I guess, because uh, we spend so much time appreciating, studying, and uh, looking at other artists' work that somewhere in amongst all of that, you tend to lose yourself. So, on that, um, into the following year, I decided to go to Europe and um, England and uh, look at. Um, art and architecture, it was the things I was most interested in. Um, I looked at, uh, absorbed, looked at and absorbed as, as many different um, artists as I could in all major galleries. And the last exhibition I had uh, viewed was an exhibition by uh, Monet, uh, the large water lily pieces. And um, I absorbed these for some uh, couple of hours and stepped outside of the, the gallery and sat on the steps. And I was thinking about um, what I'd actually seen or tried or tried to understand it um, a little bit. And then I decided to go back in again because I realised I, I, I couldn't understand it and perhaps I shouldn't have understood it. So I went back into that gallery and looked at the to work for a further hour or so. And then I went back outside and I sat down on those steps again. And it occurred to me that, um, that 
what I was looking at was a result of human endeavour. Very instinctive human endeavour. Which then freed me up to be able to paint. I'm going to think to myself, it's, it's, it's about believing in, in what you're doing and believing in, in my case, um, painting and having that appreciation and, and doing it. So that made, uh, it freed me up to, to go back or come back to Australia and um, continue with my painting. To discuss my work, there is a, a in many of it, uh, there, is a, uh, there is a combination of that early childhood um, upbringing of both religion and um, some uh, conflict. It's a, not necessarily um, conflict, there's opposing forces. And I've used this constantly. I've used uh, the cross as a symbol uh, of both our Christianity, or well, the meaning of Christianity, or the sense of Christianity, and of a way of, I guess, um, making peace. I don't use the, the cross isn't used um, literally. I guess uh, someone will give a style, but I don't think I've, I've got a style. And um, that, that, that is something that um, evolves in time. Other people have uh, said to me that they can just look at uh, my work and recognise it, but uh, I don't think I can do that myself, perhaps as well as they do. Um, inspiration. Um, I don't need a, a lot to be inspired because uh, it can just it can be a, a thought often um, coming or inspired from television news reports. Um, the way I think about our environment that we uh, live in um, often. Um, Politics and a sense of humanity are, are, are my starting points. For example, the, um, which we used to call the boat people like 20 years ago, and now it's uh, the refugees. I think I must have painted half a dozen paintings dealing with this subject matter. Um, much of my work um, deals with uh, trees, the trees that um, symbolise uh, a life force. I remember watching a program on uh, African elephants and I thought to myself, um, what would it be like to, to watch the last elephant be um, slaughtered? And um, then I'd taken that a step further and, and in this particular exhibition I've got some large tree paintings. <coughs> to me these, are, these symbolise uh, an environment um, without trees or what would it be like to cut down the last tree. The way we think about um, re religion, its uh, relevance, how, how we use it to, um, I guess, care for one another as human beings. And uh, a lot of my work seems seems to have uh, opposing opposing elements to to the church as we know it. Um, some people might take the, the, my symbolisms of crosses and that as a literal um, element, but uh, it's also there for for hope, and um, and and it's real to to me. It's very real. In some paintings, I've used the cross as a green cross to symbolise saving the environment. Um, yeah. The title for this exhibition, in Endeavour. Um, is is actually rep represents uh, what I feel my life that, thus far has been. I think it's, it has all it has been about endeavour, endeavour to continue to work, um, 
and to have something to say. Because um, I've, 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 my, my feeling is that as a as a human being, we have the potential through our art form to make a social comment or at least try and relay um, something outside of our, ourselves that is stemming from the world around us. So um, when I initially started um, painting as, as, as an adolescent, of course, it was very much about being, I guess, in uh, within nature, having a, a respect for nature and wanting to record it. But of course, as as time go, has um, gone on, I realise uh, that you can actually speak of the mind through your art. So this has been what I've done. So within my within well, at least uh, many of the works, there is a sense of both um, spirit um, and of a spirit for within the environment and a spirit of, um, of humanity. And I try and juxtapose some of these elements with um, man-made structures and other symbols. Um, I still have, uh, or I do, I do have an affinity with um, the outdoors. And so I often record the, uh, a sense of uh, nature. I think this is a very, a very powerful side to what I try, to, what I, what my paintings try to express. I think, um, yeah, but. Behind the majority of my works, uh, there is a strong sense of um, nature, uh, hu humanity. I tend to derive uh, 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 inspiration from the visual world. The majority of the time it's from the visual world, intermingled with um, a great love of um, music, and uh, a belief in in the future. Like most artists, um, there, are, there are many influences and um, artists that uh, I res respect and have um, looked at closely over the years. Um, I've got a, f a feeling. Uh, well, I've never been a person. Uh, I've never been interested in style and um, design. In art, I appreciate uh, what other artists have done, but for myself, I think that um, it's a developing and ongoing process. And um, it, if uh, someone looks at this particular exhibition, they'll, they'll find a probably a variety of styles, but uh, the imagery will um, will link the to work together as a whole. Yeah. I, 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 it's too easy but to be influenced by by style mm. in art, so yeah. I I would rather let the um, philosophy and the imagery dictate the end result. Uh, this exhibition um, endeavour I've been given the opportunity because it's a, a wonderful space to um, put together a collection of. Um, some early works done back in the, or produced back in the 80s. Uh, a little bit of uh, the work that was done in, uh, during the art school years. And um, yeah, um, a bit of everything. I, I guess there's um, 100, 100 works I've selected for it and of course not all those will go up. But uh, there's, some of the works is uh, a little bit of plain air painting, painted on, on the spot, which is, um, uh, something I enjoy doing immensely and work that is a, a com combination of that outdoor painting and um, and uh, having something to say so I've got some very serious work 
which I, th I think is serious and contemplative work and um, pretty well a combination of everything I've done. So I'll, I'll sh showcase this work as a, as a diary of my, I guess, last 30, 35 years of um, being a painter. depends on our future as a culture and uh, whether we hold true to the values of um, creation and uh, appreciate I guess appreciate the individual appreciate the, the artist our, our world is full of art I think our art is an instinct um, you, you do it because um, you can't not do it. Well, I certainly can't uh, not do it. And having something to say and putting out into a social context is a very important part of why I do it. 